What is going on, everybody? Um, I just received the package in the mail. It is from Mr. Jabs. Uh, it's a Patreon package. So today we're going to be opening that, see what kind of goodies he gave us. Uh, he usually spoils us pretty good. Um, so it really pays off to be one of his Patreons. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into this real quick. So it's a pretty big pack. I see that he, I think he gave us a baseball gun. Um, I think the last one was a foul ball. Uh, I'm not sure, you know, who it was from or when it was hit. But uh, I know he, he goes to uh, PNC Park games all the time and goes to the batting practice, gets a lot of foul balls. Um, and I myself am also a Pirates fan. I'm from Pittsburgh. So let's see what we've got here. We've got a box. Oh my goodness. Alright, we got a box. <laughs> and we do. We do have another foul ball here. At least I think it's a foul ball or a home run. Um, from batting practice, I think. Maybe it's game used, I don't know. It's dirty, there's dirt on it. Uh, but that's really cool. Either way, you can see where the ball was hit there. Um... Here's my other one. This is the other one he gave us. It's another foul ball. Nice. Pretty cool. Um, you're probably wondering what that Otani's doing in the background. I'll explain it a little later. I'll show you. Let's see what we got in this package. Last time, one of the cards we got, he sent us a, uh, a Mike Messina. And if, if you don't know who that is, that is a Hall of Famer. So I was, I was pretty impressed, and I, I, I always think he's going to give us, like, uh, you know, 90s packs or what have you. Um, <laughs> but no, he, he really, really hooks us up. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, let's see what we got here. Sent us a little invoice. Okay, so this is actually pretty cool. He sent us a game used baseball. Uh, Robert Manfred. That's freaking awesome. That is really, really cool. Sweet. So we know who it's from. Uh, last time we didn't know who uh, who hit this ball, but this one we know it was Robert Manfred. So that's really awesome. I'm gonna I'm gonna set this on that piece of paper so I don't lose it. But anyway, uh, I was also in one of Mr. Jab's uh, uh, card breaks, um, and here is a Nick Birdie autograph that I hit and it's pretty unfortunate because he has a blown out arm so that's not part of the patreon package neither are these so these are part of uh, a break so here's what we got we got these are part of the patreon package we got 2018 Donruss uh, 2018 Diamond Kings <laughs> nice we got uh, 2018 archives these are the ones with the Sandlot cards as you know, I collect those 2019 series two and some bonus cards. So let's see what's in the bonus cards. Well, let's see the bonus cards for last because he handpicked them. So we'll start out with uh, let's go with some top series two. We'll save the archives for last because those cards are some of my favorite. All right, Kyle Wright, rookie. I keep all my rookies in a separate pile. Keep them, and I put them away. And Kinsler. Oh, that's really cool. Kansas City Royals. I don't have this card. Okay, okay. So, here's an Atani Gets Hot. I can't, I can't believe. Uh, you can see it right in the back. I'll explain why I'm keeping these. All right. We got a Max Stacy 150. Oh, come on, focus, focus, focus. There we go. Max Max Stacy, 
Edgar Martinez, Robert Azuna, Taylor Davis, Ryu, who is in the conversation for Cy Young this year. He is sub two ERA. I think he, don't quote me here, but I think he's he's pushing a uh, one point eight something ERA, which is really good. Uh, he's never put up those kind of numbers. We knew he was always a good pitcher, but uh, we didn't know he was this kind of caliber. And you know what? He doesn't have stuff that will blow you away either. Um, his pitches aren't 98, 99 mile an hour. You know, he's got, uh, we'll go 2018 uh, Donruss. He's got stuff that, and also these are these packs are hard to open. So if it looks like I'm struggling, it's just because I don't want to damage the cards. Um, yeah, Ryu usually pitches, you know, low 90s for his fastball. He's just got unbelievable control. Okay, so we got one. Mariko, Marichal, Star Power, looks like Albert Pujols, and I don't know who else that is, Albert Pujols and Mike Trout, so that's actually a really cool, really cool card. We got a Robbie Ray, a Larry Wayne Jones, Cody Bellinger, nice. Ryan Braun, I got a Clayton Kershaw, and a Miggy Cabrera. I wonder if this guy's ever going to be Hall of Fame. I wonder. He's quietly, I feel like, just putting up a, a really uh, solid career. I don't, I don't know how, how much, I think his rookie year was... Hmm. Maybe 2011. Okay, we, these are, uh, if you've never seen this product, this is um, uh, Panini Diamond Kings. And these cards look like they're painted. If you feel them, they've got like a little bit of a texture to it. And they smell like, they smell like paint. <laughs> but uh, I, I, this is probably one of my favorite Panini products. I don't like Panini, but uh, I like Diamond Kings. They're just works of art. So Jackie Robinson, Max Freed. Uh, insert or excuse me rookie card and then we got a mark mcguire of the 500 pretty cool we got a francisco lindor and a Wee reese all right last pack is going to be 2018 archives and i collect those sandlot inserts so i really hope we get one of those that'd be really cool i have a uh, Wendy Peppercorn number to 99. <laughs> All right, Andrew Cutchin, Ryan Zimmerman, Bert Blevin, Mookie Betts, Chris Davis, George Kell, doesn't look like we're going to get it, Edgar Martinez, and Mark McGuire. Okay. Also, if anybody, you know what, I gotta look through these again because you gotta watch this top tops logo. Uh, if sometimes they'll have a uh, logo swap, it'll it'll be the vintage uh, uh, tops logo. It's a logo swap, and they're not easy to pull. Take it from me. I promise you, they are not easy to pull. Okay, so now we got our bonus cards. Uh, we got Felipe Rivero. I have one of his rookies. Um, his name used to be Felipe, uh, <laughs> excuse me. So here's Felipe Rivero. If you don't know who it is, he changed his name to Felipe Vasquez. He's our closer right now in the Pirates. We call him the Nightmare. But his name used to be Felipe Rivero. He changed it. So that's a really cool card. I have, I have this rookie card for Felipe Rivero. So, very cool. Thank you, Mr. Jobs. Maybe you saw my videos. Maybe you know I'm a Pirates guy. Maybe you know I'm a Pirates guy because I bought into your breaks. But Harrison Bader, rookie for Bowman. Ooh, nice. <laughs> we got a Pirates manager. We have... Uh... Oh, mistake. 
Sorry, everybody. That's a bit embarrassing. But anyway, we got uh, Pirates Managers. Uh, Danny Marta. Uh, you could see the coaches. You got Don Osborne, Don Liebert, and Bill Mazeroski, who you, you all probably know, and Bob Skinner. So that's really, really cool. I wonder what year this is from. Be very careful. What do we got? What do we got? I'm looking. I'm sorry, guys. I do not know what year this is from. I'll get back to it. Hold on one second. All right. It doesn't say, but still, cool card nonetheless. All right. And then we got a. Chase Darnod. I think his brother was uh, Tyler. Um, let's see, it's black. Not numbered, but still cool. Alright, we got a Rudy Owens. The first Bowman Chrome. Bobby Bonilla. That's awesome. He definitely knows I'm a Pirates fan. Oh, buddy. Look at that. If you don't know who Steve Blass is, <laughs> let me tell you, this guy is one of the best announcers I've ever heard uh, for the Pirates. Um, so if you listen to the radio, you watch TV uh, or the Pirates games, chances are you know who Steve Blass is. And what a lot of people don't know is he was a very good pitcher for the Pirates. Uh, I think he played eight, eight, eight years. Oh, no. Excuse me. 60 to 70. He played for 12 years. Jeez. That's four years off. This is Steve Blass. And this is going to be his last year. This is actually probably one of my new favorite cards. No joke. Boom. That is seriously so cool. Steve Blass. Let's see. Let's see what kind of numbers. He's got 100 wins. Uh, 1,500 innings pitched. Uh, 867 strikeouts, uh, total 3.24 ERA. That's a successful pitcher. That's awesome. He is a, a Pittsburgh icon. But anyway, let's, uh, let's continue on. Because we, we haven't even got through this. That's, that's so cool. Alright, so we got Jacoby Jones, first Bowman Chrome. Todd Van Poppel, first round pick. I don't know much about him. I apologize. We got an all-star for Barry Bonds. I'll look up Todd Popple. I don't know very much about him. I'm sorry. Okay, and Barry Bonds. Let's see. 1991. So, very cool. If he ever makes it into the Hall of Fame, do you think he'll go in as a pirate? Comment down below. Alright, continuing right along. Yeah, Jacoby Jones. Alright, so. Now, we're going to get into a piece of mail. Um, you're wondering why I have this Otani card up there. I'm going to show you why. I'm also going to show you because I'm pretty sure I know what's in this pack. Could be wrong. Oh, I don't want to show my address, even though I already did. Oh, excuse me. Here's a CC Sabathia. I've been picking him up. People are selling him cheap. Um, I don't, I don't know if they know he's going to be a Hall of Famer one day, but uh, I've been picking him up where and when, uh, whenever and wherever I can. But to continue right along, I have been buying. It's funny that we pulled this. The Sotani gets hot. So I have a couple different variations of it. I've got a black border. And I got a, a gold border, border. I got a rainbow foil. Um, so the reason I'm picking this up. Is because I haven't seen anything on the internet. Topps hasn't announced anything on this. But this is an error. There's an error on this card. Um, 
it says 2108 here, August 2108. I don't, I don't want to tell too many people, but hey, not too many people watch my videos. So I have a bunch of these cards. I'm just kind of, kind of stockpile them and wait and see what happens with them. Uh, because people do not know this is an error card. Uh, they're, they're listing it. Uh, correction, if you look on eBay now, they're starting to figure it out. There's certain people, uh, only a couple, that'll write, uh, mark this down as an error card. Uh, so I was picking these up before people even knew. I was getting these for like a buck a piece, um, which is awesome. Because I think if they end up correcting this, this card somehow, or saying it's an error, I think the price of it's going to go up. But anyway, tell me what you guys think of the video. I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, uh, subscribe, and I will catch you guys later.